What three baits should you be using in March to catch more fish? Let's talk about it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. If you like this kind of content, please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out and help out the channel. Also comment below and tell me what you think. So we're gonna talk about three baits I think you should be using in March. Now down here, we've already had our spawn. So in this episode or in this video, we're gonna talk about a pre-spawn. You know, March is a good time when things are starting to warm up. We're starting to see a little bit warmer trend. We're gonna have some warmer days, but also we're gonna see fish in another transition. They're gonna start to move up. They're gonna start moving to ledges and points even more so they're going to be looking for a certain size bait because your bait fish are still kind of in the smaller range you still want to have a finesse kind of stuff and really some of the stuff we've talked about in the past couple videos is still prevalent and can work in march right now that i would normally say a suspending twitch bait right now would be great and down here in florida i'm absolutely killing them with that that loader minnow loader minnow I'm absolutely killing it with that bait right now, but that isn't on the list this this month. We're going to talk about three baits that, well, one or two that you probably should know a lot about, but I want to try to give you as much information on what you should be trying to look for. Like I said, most of the, in most of the country, I mean, there's some places that are still freezing, waters are starting to warm up. Uh, fish are going to start moving up. They're going to try to find try to find those spots where they can do their thing with that special someone what you talking about mister <laughs> so knowing that is something you need to key in on your grass points your ledges they're going to move from deeper water and start moving up into the shallow water so targeting those fish either either at the ledge right on that edge or the ones that are starting to move up into the shallow is key to catch fish Pre-spawn bass are starting to stage. Like I said, it's all about a little bit of shallow, a little bit shallower water that we haven't dealt with in the last couple months because, you know, the water temperature is going to start to warm up. We've got the sun is starting to, to be out all the time. The sun is beating down on my baseball hat. The air is getting hot. The beer is getting flat. And in my opinion, I like fishing the afternoon bite this time of year you have some colder colder evenings and with that sun out all day i think the fish become a little bit more aggressive in the evenings so the first bait i think you should probably tie on and have on at least one of your rods is a spinner bait but before you do that there's one thing you need to do it's really important that you trim the skirt of your spinner bait here's why we're still dealing with smaller forage fish. And if you have a giant skirt behind it and a giant trailer, that's gonna spook bass. They're not seeing that yet. So take that trailer and trim it just behind where the hook is, the bend of the hook. Also using a smaller trailer like a, I don't even know, uh, the Goat Grubs Jr., the smaller Goat Grubs from Z-Man isn't a bad idea. Something small, uh, something that has a little bit of a, a paddle tail or a kicker tail, something that isn't gigantic. That is going to help you catch more fish. Spinnerbait is wonderful, wonderful in the month of March. So the second bait I really like is a smaller swim bait. I like the Reaction Innovation uh, Little Dipper, and I also like the Bruiser Baits super swimmer i like the the action of both of these i like that you can texas you can not texas rig you put them on a weightless hook or a weighted hook and you get a little bit of a wobble and then that tail paddle that paddle tail does great work it gets great vibration it swims properly and both those baits are key and are the right size right now for march we're still like i said we're still trying to get a smaller profile and both these work perfect and both are fish catching machines and last but not least i still love creature baits i like them texas rigged i like them carolina rigged i like them 
any way you want to rig them. Two of them that really stand out to me, start off with, is the Culprit Flutter Crawl. I love this bait. And then second is the, uh, the Riot's Bait Little Fuzzy. Now, in doing my research and, and doing all of it, I reached out, I, I've used the Flutter Crawl a lot. I use it as a trailer. I use it a lot. It's a, a bait that I'm very confident in and I'm also unbelievably confident in the little fuzzy. Uh, but I wanted, when, when I start looking at those creature baits, now I can start, you can start using the ones that have a little more phalanges or a little more water displacement. You don't have to worry about keeping the profile, profile that small. You can have things going all over. So one of the positives about the little fuzzy, and I'm going to read this exactly from Matt from Riot Baits. Uh, the alternating ridge design of the flange will cause the claws to move with a half ounce weight or larger when pegged. And that is unbelievable. Or if you just use it normal, it, it works like other, you know, beaver style baits with no claw action. So I'm going to give you an added bonus one. And one that you guys, if you've watched this channel, you should know really that I'm, it's that time. That's all I can say. Break out the chatterbaits. Yes! Gosh, I can't wait to use these things. March is a good time to start using them again. You know, I'm... I'm very fond of the 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 jackhammer for many reasons. I think it's built right. I like the tra I like the the trailer keepers to it. I like the the skirt. I like the hook. I like the way it sounds. I like everything, and I think it's the best on the market. But I know there's other ones that do just as well. The Picasso shock blade is great. The Thunder Cricket is wonderful too from Strike King. And and while people think I'm crazy, I think that Booyah Melee is pretty darn good or pretty uh, solid too. But if you have high pressured ponds or lakes that you're fishing, you might look into that Stealth Blade. It still has a unbelievable thumping action. And what makes the, the Stealth Blade and the Jackhammer really unbelievably successful is how fast they start. That's where you need to realize. You don't need to, to twitch your rod to get them to start working. They hit the water and actually as they fall, that blade starts to work instantly. And that's what the little subtle things that will do and help you catch more fish. But March, as much as it isn't in my top three, March is a good time to start using those chatterbaits because that vibration, just the fish don't like it and, and they, they eat. And, it, and it's, it's you know, you put it with the right trailer with a blade aid or a smash deck blade aid and you're going to see fantastic action, but also they, they just catch fish. So Chatterbait, while isn't on that list, it should be on the list and I'm happy and excited because uh, March and down here is a great time for, for a Chatterbait. When I look back at my logs, I can see there are some of the biggest fish I catch every year are, are in March on a Chatterbait. So I'm pretty happy. Pretty, pretty. Pretty, pretty happy. Pretty, 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 pretty. So, there you go. Three, three, four baits, five baits, maybe even I talked about in this one that you can use to catch more fish. So I hope this helps you. Thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. Make sure you comment below and tell me what you think. Remember, take a kid fishing. I'll get the light changed. Get your fish on. We'll see y'all soon. Cheers. Hit like and subscribe. Take your own kids fishing. <laughs>